Yeah, I mean, Jason's was the only reason, only thing on the agenda I was going to email to cancel. I noticed he had something, and now John's got the, the data on that stuff he wants to talk about, but um, so we can do that in a minute. And, and Vincent was upset that he couldn't make it, so maybe he gets another chance. Yeah. It's a combination of the clock and how many squares keep on showing up. It's like when you see stability of the squares and they're at three to five minutes afterwards. I mean, honestly, just for the sake of recording for um, Jason's one, I mean, I think that's, I'm not sure if there, there was the latest conversation that the build pack stuff had. Um, but honestly, I, I, I wonder if we, we have enough conversation and is it just more a matter of um, maintainer approval or is this still in the conversation of versioning and so forth? I actually don't know what the next steps would be there. Because that, in the scope of complexities, the annotations feel like the easiest thing, um, as long as everybody agrees, as far as adding to an existing thing, it's more of the, the API changes or whatever you want to categorize them um, for others that are more complex. So. That would be a good maintainer TOB conversation for us to kind of finalize. How do we want to scope those things? And with that, I guess, uh, well, John, do you want to bring up yours? So the floor is yours. Hi. Um, I, I think I'm just stuck in waiting for a maintainer to take another look. I've had at least two maintainers, LGTM, but then there were changes. And so uh, I have not looked at who's on this call right now, but it, it seems approved. I just am looking for the check. Uh, I know on, on Jason's thing, I know Vincent Batts uh, had some reservations. And since he's not here, I guess we'll defer those you know, indefinitely. John, there's deeply important questions in the chat. We're actually super curious about, like, what is your camera uh, and why is that amazing? Uh, it, so, uh, Canon has some nice new mirrorless full full frame cameras. Oh, you did like the recently. real ones. Okay, never mind. I retract my question. Never mind. Yeah. Well, they make it's bulk cheap. He's got ones, bulk right? going on there. I do. Yeah, yeah. It's like I think it's a 1.8. Uh, that does it. I think it's 35 millimeter. Yeah, uh, it's way better than like the artificial blurring stuff, I think. But yeah, this is my gift to myself um, to keep myself sane. Uh, like I said, it was a deeply important question. And then, you know, yeah. I think we all yeah, need to keep ourselves sane. Anything that works. Yeah, I also need to take pictures of birds. Maybe I'll share them with, with the dev mailing list later. Um, and a nice microphone, too, right? Yeah, this, this one was the hope that I would get accepted to some KubeCon talks. And I did get one lightning talk. Uh, so, and, you know, I would like to be nice to my team. A lot of people just use their MacBook and it's terrible. And uh, this is better, I think. Uh, yeah, I, so I'm happy to keep talking about myself. Uh, or, or I could try to convince <laughs> other people of this PR. Uh, I don't know if we have maintainers on the call, so it might not be worth doing at all. I, And we don't have any discussion topics. So maybe I've just wasted everyone's time. I'm not sure. No, no, no. This was going to be a short meeting anyways. Um, I know we've got Phil on the line. Um, kind of spinning through here. Mike Brown, anything no. from your side? Oh. Okay, Which Phil. one? Oh. I, I will uh, hop in to say that um, if folks are interested, I mean, it's focused at the TOB, but the uh, LF legal uh, reauthoring is that a good way to say it of our sort of suggested working group um, design of how working groups should be added on to the OCI is available in PR form on the TOB repo. Uh, I, I want to say it's I want to say it's number ninety nine PR. Um, I'll have it up in a second. Um, yeah, 99. So 
any, anyone in the community obviously is very welcome to make comments on that. And then hopefully that will lead to the TOB um, saying yay or nay on that as soon as folks have time to review it. Um, so this is a follow on from, what is it, four weeks ago? we presented kind of the working group idea and then uh, Chris asked for some time to have it drafted up in more charter language. So uh, that's there. I just wanted to say that that's out there if folks haven't seen it. And I just put the link in the chat. Also put some links in the chat for people interested in video equipment. I wasn't going to ask because you'd already like gone through so much effort already, but you know, we we can add in like show and tell as an agenda item in here. Uh, I could do that. I actually don't know how to present this slide though. Uh, or just put the birds, the pictures in your background. I mean, that's. It's been helpful. So just it's something interesting backgrounds. I think I can share a Google Photos album. I don't know. It has pictures of my house in it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> when Phil's dog barks, I feel like going like this and <laughs> letting that thing bark. <laughs> she is absolutely vicious with her bark and she will lick you to death. But she she barks at two things, UPS and the mail truck. And sounds like she'll eat them alive, but she would really just lick them to death. I like that the most dangerous things that some of those dogs can do is basically find somebody that's allergic to dogs. Because <laughs> they'll smother them with love and the person will break out itching. Oh, See, what's show that? And tell. Oh, there's a dog, Adrian. Hey. I think the dog is too busy trying to like, see itself. <laughs> show him the camera. See camera up there? I think you see me. Hang on, I'll click here. So I guess if we're socializing a little bit, um, is it okay if I introduce myself? Um, yes, absolutely. I'm Vanessa. I was at Stanford before. I was one of the original Singularity developers, and I joined OCI meetings for a little bit of time back in 2017. Um, but it wasn't sort of directly needed by my institution. It was kind of just me going for fun and learning about things. So um, I ultimately stopped going because uh, I wasn't, I didn't stay on the Singularity project. But now I'm at uh, Lawrence Livermore National Lab. And I think generally the national labs, like we don't do a great job of like being involved in these committees and, um, you know, expressing our use case, but also contributing to like the broader community. And of course we use containers like, like heck, so I wanted to just start showing up and seeing how I can help, um, learning about what's what's changed since I was here. And yeah, that's mostly it. <laughs> Welcome back. We missed you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're the Vanessasaurus, if I remember right. Like we. I am like, the Vanessasaurus. That is that is that is very much me. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and for those. Who, and the folks who are newer to the community, Vanessa made some way more interesting videos about OCI than any of us could have created. I assume they're still out on YouTube somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Those were a lot of fun. <laughs> so. Nice. Well, Sans, anybody else having something to talk about? Um, the CAD container guys have been wanting to do some confidential computing stuff, um, which is basically we want to do a decoding of, of the container images inside of the virtual machine um, as, as a for a container, as opposed to decoding it, you know, and laying it down on disk and, and anybody with root access would have, you know, access to those images. Um, if, if anybody's interested, you know, you know, pop me a message or not. Um, I'll put a link here to the issue. We're, we've been getting together, you know, once a week on Thursday mornings, it's really early. I'm trying to get them to move it forward a little bit. It ends up being 5 a.m. 
right now on the on the west coast <laughs> so I'm try, trying to get them to move it up but it, it, it seems like an interesting new pattern you know for how to how to how to do a pull and then unpack later uh, kind of kind of model somewhat related to you know to some of the imaging stuff that we've we've done um, you know with the suffix having encoding but definitely looking for people that might be interested in, in yeah, we've got some people that, that Microsoft been looking in the confidential computing stuff too. Um, I, I don't know where it is on public. And, you know, there's a bunch of different angles of it, but they've also been looking at this. And I think John Starks was helping as well. So let me, I'll ping them this uh, PR to see how this aligns with that. Yeah, this is great yeah it's de definitely interesting. <laughs> It'll, it'll, it'll be uh, a lot of work to make it work in the Kubernetes model. I'm sure we'll be able to do it, but. Other than that, I don't know, Kubernetes sessions for San Diego due by Sunday, so. Get in there. Submissions. There is not going to be an extension on this deadline. Get in there. <laughs> Is it a threat or a warning or? <laughs> no, no, this is like the, uh, there's, there's so little time to be able to put everything together. So like the, get in there, don't whine about it. Just just do your things. I've heard that Absolutely. from multiple sources. So I'll back you right up on that, Amy. Everyone's like, nah, -uh, nobody, nothing after. So. Uh -uh. I mean, I, we get love you in. all very, very much, but get your things in. And might be a chance for people to actually see, has it been committed that there'll be some amount of in-person? Uh, yes. right now we are, um, tracking towards hybrid. So there will be some things that we will actually have, like, you know, virtually, like we've been doing all of this in here and some things in person, um, and speakers will be able to choose. It'll, it'll be hard for the people that go to attend the virtual sessions. I, I, when we know more about how this all works, like, we'll let you know. Okay. Like if separately, if you know of anyone else that has done this before we do this, we would really love to know. <laughs> yeah. What uh, we, we did in the past, Amy, we, we would, you know, it, it was always in person, of course, but there were people that were remote that wanted to attend. So we'd have robots, you know, doing the video thing and we try to put up FaceTime or the same Zoom time. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like the, well, if, if you know of anyone I know else, it's not the same thing, but what is what is the percent ratio going to be? 50, 50, 50, oh, I don't know. You know, 70, I 30, I don't we know. Won't. Hey, Mike, I don't think we're going to know any of this until it has happened already. Like we're making this stuff up as we go along and every okay, model sorry. we've had is just, yeah, is broken already. <laughs> you know, Dude, I'm just, I'm just saying, I, know, I, know. <laughs> I, I like I, I, how I, I like, I like a lot, actually, um, how the voice does this. If you ever watch, you know, uh, the voice, they, they've got a, you know, a wall with panels all over the place and everybody gets their own individual panel and you get to see the remote audience. Yeah, um, no as well as the local audience. I know it's expensive. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm like, one of the things that like always comes up is like, can you do like watch parties for like virtual stuff? And I could see that actually being kind of like a, a useful thing as well. So, um, but however, you don't get to participate if you don't actually put in a CFP, put in a CFP, do it. <laughs> that, was, that was the, the action item here. And Phil, I will follow up with you on that about like the, if anybody else is trying to do this as well, that would be super. Any other thoughts, comments, naggings? Hmm. We have magically made like a 15 minute meeting happen out of like an agenda of nothing. I am so impressed. I use the desperation I I, contact. Can I ask sort of like high yes, level questions? Um, so, you know, given the, the current standard standards that are in OCI and specs, like what is sort of the format for working on them? Do community members kind of say, oh, I'd like this change, or are there people that are actively working on things and then they're discussed here? Like what, how does the structure work? Bill, well, <laughs> you, yeah. you just eat up your... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds like um, exactly what I was um, mentioning a few minutes ago. This, So we, we've kind of, we're, we are in a weird spot where reaching 1.0 on all three specs you know there's 
any, anyone who wants to do something maybe more interesting than small tweaks is really has really been kind of stuck in the sense that there's not like an immediate you know oh okay now we're all working on 1.1 or 2 2.x um, and so this working group idea is really uh, our intention as a solution for a set of people who care about a certain topic to go off and start to iterate on, you know, a new idea or an expansion or, or extension or even a new spec. Um, so yeah, uh, excellent question. And I think, you know, we're hoping to basically add this to the OCI charter. So there's, there's kind of an easy formalized template for, hey, the five of us want to go figure out this new thing, this new way of doing X, Y, Z. So that that's what we're hoping is is kind of the model from here now that we've kind of reached this baseline of a bunch of v1 specs so this call would be more for reviewing status talking about new things that might be coming up look fishing for people to work on projects that sort of thing right yeah i mean sort of updates from working groups um and then you know all this is like it sounds it sounds nice but the real, <laughs> you know, what, what's the colloquialism I'm looking for? Like the real kind of rubber meets the road um, experience will be, you know, there's PRs against Im image spec right now. We just, John has one that, that we were just discussing. Like there are sort of incremental stepwise things will, that will happen to the current specs. And I can't say I know exactly where the dividing line is between incremental kind of spec progress versus it's time to set up a working group but hopefully hopefully this group and and discussions here will will help people figure that out as you know certain topics come up oh that, that makes perfect that, sense and yeah I, I just totally missed it when you were saying it i didn't have the context in the beginning and i think yeah that yeah a great idea at least we use them in usrc and they seem to be working pretty well but cool yeah that's that's the plan I think one of the things that I'd love to see us just kind of squashed is the this concept that the the specs are frozen concept as if like there's nothing ever going to happen again because I don't think anybody has any of that intentions and it's nope. it's been more of a challenge of what do you do with a version thing that people depend on and how do you continue to make improvements going forward is has really been the challenge I think we've been facing you know we all have various scopes of small projects that we depend on that we don't want broken because we don't want to spend a lot of time on them it's just out there to running major services on these things and we need some kind of stability within those but we also want improvements so it's just trying to figure out what is that dividing line um, i think has been the challenge um you know so it's just i think we're all trying to figure out what's the best way to do that but i don't think anybody has any like the concept that the, it, things are frozen. Is a spec frozen? Maybe a particular version is, but I don't think the stuff we're doing here is by any means frozen. It's just a matter of how do we express new capabilities. So hopefully this working group thing will help with that. I was kind of expecting y'all to pick up a V2 path and say, all right, now that we've got V1 nice and stable, we'll just start working on V2, even if it takes us five years. Yeah, that's basically underway, I think, right now, starting from the run, uh, from the image spec for up. Uh, although there is a lot of the distribution API changes coming down, coming down from Lasker's groups um, that should be interesting. Go ahead, Ram. Looked like you had something to say. So, um, just a quick comment on that. Um, so, we did have some presentations in this meeting a year ago. Uh, time is hard to figure out these days, but the, in fact, it was even monikered OCI v2, and it was focused around image and new ideas around. Um, uh, that would affect image spec mostly. Um, 
So I think I think with the working group model, it'd be good to see people take up. So there were a bunch of disparate ideas. They weren't, you know, it wasn't a, an exact like, oh, here's V2 and here's all the steps to get there. It was like, hey, here's a bunch of interesting ideas kind of broken out into a, a document and people on the call here were part of some of that. Um, and of course, Alexa uh, was part of that who usually can't be on this call because of time zones. But um, so, you know, that's, I think, what we're going to have to figure out. Do we want to take those ideas and form some working groups around them? Or are there enough people to, to do that uh, and have an interest? But definitely, the, you know, there's interest in kind of, OK, you know, what does V2 look like? And some ideas have already been generated around that. I know there is an ability to write proposals, but is there a place to kind of brain dump ideas to kind of see if there's inter if they fit into a working group or something new or? Yeah, you know, we don't have any formal place for that, but I mean, people have kind of just written HackMD documents, anything shareable, you know, an online shareable platform that, um, can then be linked from an issue, you know, in the OCI repos, you know. Um, but yeah, we don't we don't necessarily have a formal place for that. But uh, I'm open to ideas if there's you know some place we should collect that. They use the mailing list for that kind of thing. Like, hey, I have this idea. Where do I talk about it? Type of discussion. Sure. Yeah. I think there's a balance, right? There's like writing stuff up for people to read and digest. And then there's like, if this has been a good group for discussion for this call, so like, hey, I've got this idea. What do people think? And sometimes it might be like last week, I think there was like, hey, yeah, there was this, like, Phil, you had some links to something that existed already. And um, it helps people route to whether something's already done and some thought on that, or hey, it's a great idea, or yeah, maybe that's great for this other project kind of thing. So, that, that's or been it's a good really thing. terrible and nobody wants that idea. That's an option too. <laughs> uh, yes, silence <laughs> sometimes is that. <laughs> Steve, you're on mute. Yeah. Oh, I was just saying yes. That's yes. The that other project might be the the better answer for that kind of crazy idea. Um, but I think the idea is no idea is a bad idea, but is it an idea worth pursuing? And this is having a discussion here helps. I guess if we should point out that Run C is getting ever closer to its 1.0 release. Um, so please bang the heck out of it. You know, try it out, make sure, try, try to close that down. No, no new, I think there's stop features, um, you know, in, enhancements. And they're, they're really trying to shut it down now. So it, that would be nice if we could get, get that hat. Then we'll yeah, have a one of everything we need. <laughs> to, to also, RC95. Wow. Yeah, patch your systems. RC95 is a CV fix. Yeah, even uh, uh, Kubernetes is starting, starting to get to where they can CI CD, you know, more often this entire space now that they're on the cry run, run times and and they're they're trying to figure out a way that they might be able to stop vendoring uh you know run c content and instead start to run off master if they can um but again they they they, they need to be running off a tag currently um and we're trying to trying to address that and see if we can't get them to run off master or main whatever it ends up becoming Hmm. Just as we're getting to the half hour spot, maybe good time for folks to get the, get bring some time back to their schedule. But anybody else, anything else? Happy to chat about anything people have. Oh, good. Credits to Sam, I guess, on the you know, the RC ninety five. It went from 10 yeah, to it's a, it's a it, it, They skipped a little bit. <laughs> it's, that's not the, it's still, it's been years though. We got to get, we got to get this thing out the door so we can move on. 
it's it's been it's been uh, it's been hard not to get regressions, you know, based on new features that we're dropping in. So that's why we'd like to get to a one over release if we can, <laughs> so we can service the one over release and 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 then make a larger jump to you know better better more functional changes. Anyhow, all right, guys. If the idea that you run out of numbers that you must just declare a V1. <laughs> uh, we're, just, we're taking the, the tech means of version numbering where we just add another digit of pi every release. <laughs> we, we can keep releasing forever. The version numbers just get a little unwieldy. 3.141596.7, is it? <laughs> it becomes a digest. It's going to be so easy to explain. You know, hey, new people, this is what we do. Hooray. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. We'll just make them digest. I mean, when you think about it, it's not okay. that different from System B's version numbers, which are just a single monotonically increasing number. How many digits of pi release are you on? You can't say System D without shutting down a meeting, team. That's always. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, on that note, I guess we'll uh, we'll wrap up for the week and we'll pick up next. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, thanks, everyone. It's great to see this community really thriving, and I'm looking forward to future ones. <laughs> you all give us aspirations that we should be working harder during meetings. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm looking at my bike over there. <laughs> I want to see you on your bike for the next meeting, Mike. <laughs> we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll do. I even got a, I even got a motor here for the. Uh, let's see. No, no, you can't use a motor to drive the bike and you sit on it while it's. No, no, I mean I've, I've got a motor to raise the desk now. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's sinking. Later, folks. All right, see y'all. See you guys. Bye. Bye, all. Everybody, bye, all.